Hey! Ding dong bing bong! Hey, you know what time it is, guys! Welcome back! Go get the snacks, get ready, buckle up! I'm sorry, Jay, that's your thing, I know. I have hot chocolate. It's not relevant to anything. That's right, guys. It is the class trial once again. Someone else is going to die. I don't. Who knows what's going to happen? Maybe Monokuma is going to reveal that he was um, Colonel Sanders the entire time. Like <laughs> this game is sponsored by Kentucky Fried Chicken. I'm just. I don't know. I, that's how this game's been. I have no idea what's going to happen next. But last episode, if you missed it, you might want to check it out. Two people. It was the last episode, but basically two people have died before this class trial, which is unheard of. Actually, it's not, but... And then another person faked their death, so if you missed that, you might want to go check it out. It was a really interesting episode, but, you know, let's get it going. Take a look at them now, because someone is going to die. And I have my predictions, which I will go over shortly. Ah, yes, it's good to be back, guys. Oh, oh. They look really depressed. Must be because there's uh, even less participants now. Oh. Don't say they look depressed. It'll make Mana damn sad. As much as I'd like to... Uh, uh, as much as I'd love to keep hearing this adorable back and forth. Let's hurry up and get this started. Extreme. At last, the last class trial will begin. I hope you enjoy it to your heart's content. I know I will. The third class trial was about to begin. Angie Yonaga, the ultimate artist. She created the ultimate academy. Oh, you know, you know. You get it. This one was quite shocking. I really, I really didn't think, like, she was gonna die. Alright, uh, we gotta, we gotta do that prediction, right? We gotta do predictions right now, guys. Like, dang it, Grandpa. This is your fault, Grandpa. Alright, number one suspect, Corey Kyo. Why? He knows how these uh, 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 things work, right? He knows how all these rituals and stuff work. He could have used... Maybe this ritual that he's been using is not what he thinks... Because he's the only one that can read it, right? Maybe these rituals are actually what's killing people. You know what I mean? I'm just saying that uh, he's the high... He's the only one that knows about it. And plus, with a guy with a mask like that... It's just it's just a matter of time before he does kill somebody secondly even though I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be him I would say Kibo would be number two because he has the light the light function right light the light function Someone that needed to go down in the floorboards to kill a uh, Tenko Would have needed a light of some sort so th that's the only reason uh, I, I don't I really don't see there's so many X's now I really don't see anyone else actually committing this crime Kokichi. I just don't see him and Gonsen ah, No no, I'm sticking with it. That, uh, that's my final answer. I, I know I'm usually all over the place, but I have no other reason to suspect anything else. So yeah, the interesting thing here is that only one person could have did both of these murders or it was two separate people. It wouldn't matter though because the only one that's gonna count is the one for Angie. That's the only one that's gonna be the blackened. The victim is Angie. The victim's body was discovered in the ultimate research lab. The time of death is 2 a.m. The victim was killed by a fatal stab wound to the torso. Additionally, she has lacerations on her forehead. It's the same thing that happened to Tenko. So it's just like no coincidence that they're so similar. But why? That's why. Why? All right, let's start this. Ahem. Now then, let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, he'll die. I'll punish also. Refusing to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. Wait a minute. I never considered that. What if someone just doesn't vote? You think they'd do that? Now, smiles, everyone. It's showtime. Let's get this crazy awesome trial underway. Sorry, everyone. I don't think I'm going to be much help this time. Yeah, he was pretty much gone for everything. Because of Monokuma's disruptions, I couldn't do a thorough investigation. I can tell Monokuma is overcompensating to hide his self-consciousness. That's right, yeah. So last episode, uh, Monokuma, like, interrupted everyone, which is not normal, usually. Next usually time, we always get everything. Spend less time fixing your hair and more time investigating, spaceman! Dang, Monokuma, you don't have to do it like that? Shut up! I don't need to hear some comedy act from you two weirdos. Who did it? Who killed Angie and Tenko? Oh, she's about to go Super Saiyan. I knew that Tenko freaking loved Himiko, but um, yeah, but like technically that was those those are the most important people in Himiko's life, you know. Uh, considering that we're all trapped here, you know. Do not let your emotions hasten your judgment. There may be two killers. Oh, dude, you probably one of them. My God. <sighs> so, our other culprit might not be one of us here. How? Oh, I get what she's saying. Hmm? What do you mean? 
The transfer student. What? Maybe our resurrected transfer student dragged Angie and Tenko into the grave. I wish that that would happen, but I really doubt that. Stop it! Stop making stuff up! Say something, Shuichi. It'll be a mess if this keeps going on. I don't think anyone got revived, guys. That's some heebie-jeebie stuff. Okay, yeah, we always have to start with something stupid. It's always it's always stupid in the beginning. All right, there we go. This crime was committed by the recently deceased. Oh, God. I'm playing my keyboard, by the way, we which is the worst way to play this game. Two of our classmates. No! <laughs> okay. So, ritual did work? Uh... Who was resurrected, I wonder? Angie did say she was gonna bring Rantaro back. She did. She did yes. say that. Rantaro was resurrected. The culprit is the late Rantaro Amami! Shut your Please mouth, Simugi. Oh wow, That's that was wrong. it. I knew it didn't work, I just didn't know how to say it. <laughs> I hate that. I hate when you just don't know how to say it. I don't think Angie's ritual succeeded. Oh wow. Well, I mean, what makes you think that? According to the Necronomicon Monokuma showed us. You have to burn the Necronomicon in the ritual. Oh yeah, I knew that, of course. But the thing is, what's weird about this, it's not the same rules as, as the, the, uh, the other book. If Angie's ritual had succeeded, the book would have been gone. So she must have been killed before the ritual was complete, since the book was still intact. Then, going to think Rantaro probably not culprit. So maybe someone wanted to kill her to actually stop uh, the, the ritual from happening. Huh. Oh. I guess you're right. Well, duh. There's no way a dead person could resurrect. Now, hold on a second. I can't let that comment stand. Sure, everybody knows that you can't bring the dead back to life, but it's easy at the Ultimate Academy as long as you use the Necronomicon. What are you talking about? There's no way that's possible. But it's true. I never lie about motives. Do it. Prove it. Bet. Sh show me. Show me. Daddy said so, so he can't be wrong. Raising the dead is totally possible. Man, I can't believe you guys wasted such a perfectly good motive. Seriously, that could have been some, for some really good story that someone could have been revived. You should have let me use it to bring Monodum back to life. Oh, no, that would be bad. Monodum is still alive, though. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't waste the resurrection on Monodem's corpse. He's like, oh, I took that personally. So resurrecting the dead was actually possible this whole time? There's no way it's possible! Yeah, how is this game real if that's true? There's no way. There's no way that could happen, idiots. Monokuma is trying to confuse us. Let's hurry up and find out who the Blackened is. If our transfer student isn't the culprit, then blame falls to one of us. Who? Who did it? Step aside, Half Pint! I'll handle this! Go for it, you got Tenko, this! But I'm pretty fucking sure Keo murdered Angie! What? Hey! Don't play dumb with me, creep show! I already know what happened! Go ahead, do speak. All right, well, I guess I'll have to do it. <laughs> All right, I didn't want to do that, but okay. The culprit uh, used a katana to kill Angie. Yeah, and he has a katana. And it was found in Keo's research lab. That's like, yeah, it's too obvious, right? Which but, makes yeah. you, Keo, automatically suspicious. But anyone could have taken that katana, you see. So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. You were the only one who cared about that thing, Keo. Mm -hmm. I did not care about some katana. Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. You oh, it's like a work class uh, broke in and murdered oh, wait, the no. fuck out of Angie. Ooh. Oh yeah, I'm a fucking genius. What? Oh wow, I didn't actually think that was gonna work. Well, I guess I had a some sort of hint. She said that she was locked in there, so no, I didn't know if this is what I was supposed to say. To enter Angie's lab. Well, yeah, because it's like it's locked. Isn't but. that right, Tsumugi? Yeah. Before Angie locked herself up in her research lab, she said she wasn't going to open up for anyone but student council members. Okay, yeah, yeah. Remember, she wouldn't have opened the door for him. 
Theo couldn't have killed Angie even if he wanted to. But she said broke in. Usually when someone's breaking in, they didn't... It's not called breaking in when you're allowed in. That's not breaking in. I had you break no in desire forcefully. to kill her in the first place. So whoever killed Angie must have been one of the student council members, yeah? I, I was doing a bit to lead you to the right answer. Can't believe you actually got it. Oh, how clever. <laughs> you can just ignore her, Gonta. The remaining student council members are Gonta, Kibo, Sumugi, so, and Hino. So, yeah, because that would automatically make them suspects, but I still think it's Korikyo. Well, it can't be Himiko. She was besties with Angie. I trust their friendship. Yeah, you that's... Guys, yeah, there's no, course. There's no way. Can we trust their friendship so readily? Obviously. Let's believe in them. Okay, he's talking weird. That uh. brings our list of suspects down to three. Gonta, Samugi, and Kibo. Yep, yep. The culprit is one of those three people. You mean one of those two people. Because a robot ain't people, Jack. I will let that remark slide. Anyway, aren't these accusations just a tad too hasty? He's like, you're next. You're next, Mew. What else? The culprit should confess already. Gonta, Keyboy, or Samugi. Well... No, right, go ahead. Yeah, Gonta. let's confess. Gonta confess. would never kill Angie. Yeah, Gonta's a gentleman. You shouldn't suspect either of us. Gonta could kill everyone in the game. I still wouldn't think it's him. Hey, stick up for me too. Gonta could be the only one left. I still wouldn't believe it was him. Gonta definitely not hurt anyone. Torture Gonta if you don't believe. Go ahead, try. Gonta wants to be tortured. Torture might be a bit too far, but Gonta and I aren't the culprits. And I'm not the culprit either. Jeez. Gonta I'm not the culprit. culprit. I'm not the culprit. Oh, not this again. Okay, I got this. We uh, must consider other gentlemen. possibilities. Surely there must be suspects outside the student council. Uh, and do you have an alibi for last night? A dead chick can't even be the culprit. culprit. Why? Only student Why? council Why? members had access. Look, I don't know who the Actually, I didn't know robot killed Oh, okay, I know what to do. So Kokichi's remark. We need to do Kokichi's lock picking with his remark, okay. Because he's saying that there was basically no way in, but we knew that he can do it. Uh, must consider other so he's not innocent completely. Sure, but I mean I don't know. Aha! I knew it! I heard it! <laughs> Stuck right there! No. It wasn't just student council members that could have opened the It was that you, Kokichi, door. you little liar. Hmm, what was it you said earlier about Kyo opening the door, Shuichi? Unless you're a student council member, you can't enter Angie's lab. Can you right? see me? I hope you can see me. I was referring to Kyo. He couldn't have done it, but you could have. Because I saw you open the classroom lock by picking it. Ooh. Ooh, he did not? <laughs> oh, that happened? I totally forgot. So you're going to pretend you don't remember, huh? <laughs> Quit glaring at me like that. Of course I remember. Yeah, I did it. I killed Angie. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> Surprise what did you Pikachu just say? face. I picked the lock to her lab, snuck into the room, and then wham! Killed Angie. The culprit was me all along. What? We what? we we know he's a pathological liar, so he's what not are you him. Saying? Is this some kind of joke? He's like, that was me. <laughs> nah, no joke. I thought that if I confessed, I could atone for my sins. And it helped. I feel so much better. Whew! Wait, so Kokichi really is culprit? No, he's lying. I think. Maybe? He's lying. I'm certain of it. No, no. Definitely not a lie. I killed Angie. Shouldn't you guys believe the culprit when they confess? Then let me ask you, culprit. How did you lock the room? Huh? It's the same as opening it. You pick the door closed from the outside? No, that doesn't make sense. Ooh. Huh? What does it make sense? Can't you lock a door by picking it? Maybe, but that's not how the culprit locked the room. Then say it. They used a different method. What different method? Yes, yeah, so they went through the back door, and it's proof because of the gold stuff, yeah. 
Yeah, Mumbles. Use your big boy voice and explain yourself. Uh, there were two doors to the classroom, and the one locked last was... The back door. That's it. The back door. That's how they made this a locked room mystery. The back door had a sliding lock, yes. How was it locked from the outside? The culprit used a certain tool. Use a Swiss army knife. <laughs> uh, hey, I don't know. Ah, oh, not this one again. Okay. Gotta play some honey pop here. No, the scythe was the murder weapon for the second murder. That wasn't- that's not what they used. I'm gonna go with the sword. I- I knew it all along, guys. The gold leaf katana that was stabbed into Kaede's effigy. The culprit used that to hit the knob of the sliding lock to lock the door. So the gold leaf was on the sliding lock because... Because when the katana hit the lock, some of the gold leaf rubbed off on it. The gold leaf on that katana did peel rather easily. It's it's no coincidence. It's like from the first game. Hmm. That evidence rings a bell. Mm. Specifically, a I knew it. Huh? Are you talking about a different school? What school was it? Now, now, <laughs> Let me tell you a story. Anymore. Let's not dwell on the past. I, I'm sorry. I, Danganronpa 1 was my favorite game. It really was. I know a lot of people are probably like, no, it's number two. But for me, it was number one. I don't know. I had a special connection to number one. Ooh, the gold leaf landed on the sliding lock when the katana touched it. So that means the culprit used the katana to move the sliding lock, right? But wait, how did they move it with the katana? And from outside Angie's lab? The clue that might give us the answer is the layout of the area itself. It was an odd setup after all. The katana stabbed into the effigy. The effigies hung upside down. Angie didn't do that as part of the ritual? No. Nowhere in the Necronomicon did it say you had to hang the effigies. If it was not part of the ritual, then it must have been for a different purpose, right? What could it have been? All I know is that, like, the, the other ritual required multiple people, so, like, that's the weird thing about it. But why were they hung upside down? This is a ritual that no one knows about. Psyche Taxi- Oh, yeah, I get to play Crazy Taxi again. Alright, sweet. But right, I hope I know the controls. Uh, playing on keyboard- The game doesn't tell you how to play on keyboard, so you literally have to figure it out. Wow, the new Cyberpunk looks great! <laughs> I have played that game, uh, for a few hours so far. I bought it, because, like, it's so high you know so I don't know why I'm talking about cyberpunk but it, it's cool there is a lot of glitches like I saw a guy like he's supposed to be on a cell phone but he was holding his it was holding a gun so it was like he was like texting on a gun looks really stupid okay anyway what turned the handle of the sliding lock I know the answer it is the effigy's hands the katana's hilt oh crap no <laughs> wait no what am I doing yeah let's remember this girl <laughs> what was done to make the katana turn the lock well, they did say it was really easy to, like, to lock. The town I was stabbed at effigy, a uh, sliding lock was tampered with. Uh... Really? How does that happen? What kind of plan is this? I got- I, I gotta see that at the end, how- how we- How do they freaking do that? I just realized the girl was, like, right in the car with you, what the heck? How was the effigy manipulated to make the katana affect the lock? I- I really- I honestly don't know. Swinging it back and forth, making it- Oh, it must- Oh, it must have been swinging it! Never mind, I'm an idiot. Spinning it. This is freaking crazy. What? Oh my god. Like some of the logic in these in these in these things is like, how could anyone understand this? It, it used to be easy back in the day, but now it's like That's use it. perfect geometry. The reason the culprit stuck the katana into the effigy was so that it would hit the sliding lock as the effigy spun. Effigy spun? <laughs> Don't worry, Gonsa, you ain't the only one that's confused. That's right. <laughs> what? The, effigy, the rope it was hanging from would twist. I did not come to that conclusion. I, I, to be honest, never would have. I gotta give it. A, I, my hat's off to you, Shibichi. And it is. It is. I don't, I'm not wearing a hat. Then, if you let it go, should have just hang Ranto up there. It would have done the same the thing. Would spin the other way. I don't know. I, that, that was a reach. That was a reach. Kind of like how this is reaching. And of course, the katana would spin with it. I see. 
So the culprit used the katana's counterspin to push the lock into place? The culprit simply needed to spin the effigy's rope. And then Sweepus would cause the spinning katana to hit the sliding lock. That is big brain thinking. What the heck? the back door of an empty classroom locked from the inside. But why hang yes, all the other ones? That's huh? Angie's lab was locked. Explain that, Buster. By using the effigy with a katana. A plan born from the heart of a sword traveling through the air to intercept us. Oh, but could it have moved the slide box so easily? Yes, yes, it was easy. As long as the spinning katana... Even if the culprit failed the first couple times, they could keep trying until it locked. Which is why the culprit chose to strike at night time as to avoid detection. Yes, since the student council prohibited anyone from walking around at night time. Are you saying it's the student council's fault? It kind of is, yeah. I say that. In any case, the culprit probably used the murder weapon for this trick. It had to have been the right length to hit the sliding lock from the effigy. The culprit couldn't find a blade long enough in my lab, so they settled for the katana. The other effigies were only hung up, so we think it was some kind of ceremony. That way, we wouldn't notice the lock trick. But, Kokichi did say earlier that he could have picked the lock closed. I don't want to completely ignore that possibility, but I can't imagine the culprit would have done all this just for a distraction. If that's the case, then Kokichi's confession earlier was actually... Seriously? You fucking lied again? Cough it Obviously! Up, Come on! Oh, man. You guys got me. Okay, I'm not the culprit. You're telling the truth this time, right? I want to say I'm lying, but I'm not. What? Why did you say you were the culprit? I wanted to lure the culprit out. If I oh. claim to be the okay, culprit, I get it. then the real culprit would agree as well. You get me? And if they pressured me to confess, then that would have looked mighty suspicious. Sheesh. Darn it. It didn't go my way because Shuichi butted into my plan. You and your fucking lies. Go sit in the corner and play with yourself. Okay, I'll start right now. <laughs> oh, God. All right. So, who's the asshole who set up this locked room mystery? Yeah, just come on. Everyone say it. I can't hold it up anymore. What's the matter? You going soft on me now? Okay, shut up. No, uh, you're going to be demonetized. Stop it. Matter, since anyone could have done it. Don't you even understand something as basic as that? You feel the nope. dumpster. What did he just say? <laughs> we had to censor that. So anyway, uh, yeah, going to what are we going to talk about? We must focus not on the locked room, but on who entered Angie's lab. Only one of the student council members or Kokichi could have gained entry. Therefore, the culprit must be among their number. That leaves us with four suspects. Sumugi, Gonta, Kibo, and Kokichi. Don't forget Himiko. She's also a part of the student council. Doesn't matter if she was besties with Angie, she's still a suspect. That contradicts what you said earlier, which I can prove using my recording function. It's fine. That's just a waste of time. Me? A suspect? I... Never kill Angie! Well, she's finally showing emotion. So, calling all suspects, what should we discuss next? I want to hear everyone's opinion. What would you say to get yourself off the suspect list? Why are you trying to lead the debate? You're a suspect too. Silence, outsider! Only the suspect rangers are allowed to speak. What the heck? S suspect rangers? I agree. Those under suspicion should explain themselves thoroughly. We might catch them with their pants down! Anyway, I want to ask the suspect rangers, what should we talk about? What should we say to get ourselves off the suspect? <laughs> it's the Sus Rangers! <laughs> uh, it's a way better version of Power Rangers. Screw the Power Rangers. I like the Sus Rangers. Put that on your Saturday morning cartoons. Well, guys, I want to hear what you think. Um, that's sort of a difficult question, you know? Gonta not smart enough to know answer to that. Yes, it is difficult to formulate a logical response to that question. Not articulate with words, huh? Don't you guys want to prove your innocence? They don't trust you one bit, and I don't blame them. You're probably plotting. Why? 
did Tinko have to die? Oh no, she's finally going through that phase. Okay. I want to know what happened to Angie too, but... Well, you know, when, when, when someone's mourning, there's phases, right? She's going through the, 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 the denial? Is it? No, not denial. The questioning phase. I don't know. Can we talk about Tinko's case now and not just Angie's? <laughs> I got you exactly where I wanted, Himiko. Uh, what do you mean? The two victims could have been killed by two separate murderers, you know. So we need to find the first blackened responsible for the first victim. We gotta figure out who killed Angie. Until we solve Angie's case, Tenko's case is meaningless. It's gotta be related though. They, there's no way that, that someone could just get away with killing Tenko. Did you suggest that to waste our time? It's not meaningless! Tenko's death was meaningless? How dare you! Poor Tenko! How could you do this to her? H Himiko. Himiko, stop it with your crappy lies. Lies? Everything you said is total BS. You didn't give two shits about Tenko when she was alive. Ooh. But now you're like, oh no, poor Tenko, after she's dead. Come on, really? Kokichi, enough! Ooh. No. It's okay. It's no surprise he'd think that. Yeah, that's usually how it goes, right? Like, when someone... It doesn't seem like they care, but it's only until, like, after they're gone, they're like, Oh, I actually did. Now I realized I did actually care, and now I should have cared more. I know I ignored Tanko before. That's why... I'm so upset now. I should have faced Tanko. Worked things out with her while she was still alive. Work things out, though? Did they, did they get an oh, argument? It's too late. I can't complain to her. Or thank her. It's... Too late. Yeah, seriously! It's way too late to realize okay. that now. Okay, <laughs> whoa, Kaito, back, back it up, right? Stop. Our only option is to face her death head on. Yeah. Oh, face okay. I, I guess this called for it, I don't know. Himiko, I understand what you're going through. So I'm gonna help you out. Let's work together to find the truth. I'm not gonna let anyone say her death didn't matter. K Kaito. All right. I'll put a silencing curse on whoever calls Tanko's death Ka meaningless. Kaito's one of the coolest characters, though. Like he he's always in people's corners. Like you know, he's so good. You know, there's no way. I, I'd be I'd be shocked if he murdered someone. The name of the curse is Death Curse. I am. Um... Suppose being dead would silence someone pretty good. Yeah, a little bit. Listen up! All you guys are gonna help out too. Abandoning someone who died and only thinking about your own survival. That's just as bad as a hit and run! I won't forgive something so messed up! Tenko was our friend. Going to want to know why she died too! I already told you that's so unnecessary. We're getting sidetracked here. I mean, they should figure out who killed Angie first, but... No, even if it was a different culprit, we need to know how Tenko died. If we don't find out who killed her, we won't be able to work together. Not now, not ever. Even if this trial isn't for her, in order for us to survive, we need to get to the bottom of Tenko's death. So is this going to be twice as long trial? This is going to be the first trial to split up? Not just to survive this trial, but so we can keep going and live on! Kaito. Finally, you noticed. Jeez, you're so slow. Huh? Did Kokichi want us to notice? Don't listen to his crap. We haven't decided whether there were two different culprits yet. Let us talk about Tenko's case then. Perhaps that will provide us a clue. Yeah, maybe. They're not wrong, but... I don't mind going over Tenko's case, but that was an abrupt change of topic. What, was that intentional? So, what do we talk about first? Ooh. For now, let's see if we can narrow down the list of suspects. So he's, sus he, he's definitely sussing, uh, uh, Cor Corey? Ten Crotch probably yeah. got killed during the seance. <laughs> so Ten Crotch? So everyone suspicious. <laughs> Ten Crotch! Uh, her, her insults are hilarious. The people who attended the seance. The people who attended the seance were... Uh, Kori Kiyo, Shuichi, uh, Himiko, yeah, them. Well, I mean, technically Kiba left, but uh, he still... He still did it, though. Oh, come I was on. Alright, never mind. I guess I was wrong. 
That's it. Okay. All right. I knew it. It was me, Kyo, Himiko, and Kokichi. So those four are the culprits. Oh, Himiko still culprit? Well, that's probably just a coinky dink. The most suspicious out of the four is really Kyo. He suggested the whole seance idea. Yeah, true. I agree. I may have suggested it, but I explained the procedure beforehand. Yes. Yeah, but you could have left out details, dude. If we all knew of it before the murder, then we are all equally suspicious. Well, I suppose. But... He didn't even have the book. In addition, the seance wasn't entirely in my control either. I was not the one who selected the room we performed it in. It was Himiko. Really? Oh, the middle room is always best for stuff like this. Yeah, why did she say that? Oh, but it wouldn't matter. Right. The reason why is because uh, all the rooms were exactly the same. There were spaces in all of them, so you could have used the boards on any of them. But, you know, if they wouldn't have used those rooms, I don't know what would have happened. But we did. there was a hole. There was plenty of ways to walk down through there, so they could have gotten in through any, any room. And whoever did it knew that. Also, we should not limit our suspects to only those who participated in the seance. The empty room had a point of entry from outside, you see. He's referring to the whole... There! Yeah, I knew that. You're talking about under the floor, right? Huh? Under the floor? Yes, there's a crawl space under the floor a person can move through. There was also a hole that connected it to the neighboring room. If the culprit used the hole, they could have entered and exited the seance room. If we consider that possibility, then there is another suspect. Another suspect? Who? <laughs> it's appearing before me. Oh, I can see it clearly. The true identity of Tenko's killer. All right, freaking Mama Cleo. Who is it? The Cade's child did it. The culprit sneaked in during the seance by crawling under the floor. Oh yeah, that Kibo's. Okay, all right. How could they even see if they were under the floor? Kibo's flashlight. Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see, our light. Oh, okay. I was kind of agreeing, but okay. <laughs> light? You mean candle? No. I mean Kibo's flashlight function. Oh, he just came out and said it. Okay. Huh? Now hold on a second. Kibo could have used that function to get under the floor and sneak into the empty room during the seance. I yeah, said, that was my first thing. Hold on a second. Hey, let him he talk. uses robot functions to commit the murders. <laughs> hold on a second. He acts, he's activating it now. I feel like it would be way too bright though and people would, would notice that. You would notice a big old light like that. The only thing I can think of is we have to make up some kind of lie about Kibo's uh, flashlight function. That's the only thing I can think of. We need to like lie to prove a innocent. That's right. Oh, that's actually it. That was, I could not figure this out, but okay. Usually when that happens, you have to lie. Okay. You gave Kibo his flashlight function, correct? Did you not notice? I didn't notice what? It's hard to believe that Kibo is the culprit in this case. It's even harder to believe that this trial isn't being manipulated by someone. So even if I have to lie, I need to defend Kibo. The drawback of the flashlight function that you added. It's so bright, even Kibo can't see when it's turned on. Hmm, I see. That bright, huh? Wait, what? There's no way a genius like me would make that kind of rookie mistake! But you make mistakes a lot. Hey! You're gonna <laughs> put me in front of everyone! Okay, Mew. See, it doesn't matter how bright the area is. He couldn't move like that. So Kibo couldn't have been underneath the floor. I is that true, Kibo? Is what Shuichi said true? Hey, you got me on the edge of my seat, too. I want to know. Come on, play along. Um. Kibo? <laughs> Do uh, it. Um, well, uh. I'm so sorry. I just don't remember. Really? What? I'm sorry. Oh, he's an he's the he's the worst Among Us player oh, ever. We get it already. Just turn it off. We're gonna go blind. 
You don't remember? What does that even mean? Well, Shuichi, trying to make a fool out of me, huh? Let me put on some makeup, because I want to at least look pretty before you decide to Baba Baba Boo. Okay, stop. Uh, um, that, that's, uh... Shuichi, I'm so sorry. What? Damn, He's trying to erase everyone's... Seriously <laughs> He's trying to... The, the thing is, they could have just said that, like, it's so bright, you would have noticed that there was a light under the thing. It's that bright. It, there were floorboards that were had gaps in between. Is is that not the most logical explanation? Wouldn't the light have shined through the gaps? Thank you, Maki. I love you, Maki. Come on, yay! Thank you. This was the I came up with this from the very beginning, but the game's like, no, no, no you can't say that. Yes, the culprit couldn't have used the light under the floor. Not even. Hey, now you just are and such, Chewie. Oh, they couldn't have. We were there after all. We would know. Yeah, you would have seen it. There was a hole near the corner of the room if someone had a light under the floor. But when we did the seance, I'm pretty sure the room was pitch black. That's right. We didn't see anything, so the culprit couldn't have used a light. And just because I have a built-in flashlight function does not mean I am the culprit. Yeah, it's just a, it's trying to lure that us. That was a flaw in my theory. Jeez. Here I thought this would be the case where the murder could only be done by a robot. You have accused me of being the culprit more than once now simply because I am a robot. That's robotic racism. My status as a robot does not mean I am capable of performing superhuman feats. My vision is somewhat poor, and I only possess average <laughs> physical strength and intelligence. He's kind of the worst robot, isn't he? It's like, you can't even make him do things that like normal people can't do. Well, he can record, but like everyone's got cell phones, you know? It's kind of funny. All right, all right. It's like a lame robot. Point. God, now I feel sort of bad for you. I neither want nor need your pity. Yeah, he don't need your pity. He needs to stop. He keeps blinding everyone. <laughs> Way too bright. It would have been difficult to move around under the floor in that pitch black darkness. Maybe the floor and the hole have nothing to do with this case. Then why was floorboard uh, that's... under Tanko lined up funny? Going to think that was so culprit could stab Tenko from under floor. Ooh, nice observation, Gonta. Are you finally getting used to the class trials? Uh huh. Thank you. <laughs> Don't say it like that. You're better off not being used to this kind of stuff. Yeah, stay innocent, Gonta, please. Maybe they marked Tenko with glowing paint and looked for that. What? What'd you just say? Are you making a reference to Dagarapa too? Let the culprit find her. Then they could stab her through the floorboards. Boy, that sounds really familiar too. But I'm just gonna <laughs> ignore it. All right, Monokuma. I feel like that Joker meme saying you wouldn't get it would uh, be very appropriate here. Any trace of glowing paint though? Oh yeah. So then, why was that floorboard loose? The loose floorboard was the one under Tenko, right? If the culprit used it while she was still alive, she'd totally notice. Who fucking cares? Fussing over that won't get us closer to the culprit! We shouldn't dismiss this line of inquiry, however. Instead of butting our heads against this, how about we concentrate on another issue? What other issue? Perhaps first, we should figure out how and when exactly Tenko was killed. When? So not during seance? Tanko was in the metal cage for the whole seance, wasn't she? How could someone have gotten to her there? Maybe the culprit killed her before she went under the metal cage. That's not possible. She was alive at that point. Yes. She was unmistakably alive when the seance began. How could you know that, though? That was right before we blew out the candles. But when the light came back... <laughs> The floorboard was removed at that point, so it's likely she was already dead then. I can't believe how like crazy it she is really related to like the dark? second or the first case of the second game. But she was inside Cage, right? Going to think it impossible to kill her then. It's not impossible. But she wasn't <laughs> He's saying impossible. When the room was dark, it was a different time. A different time? How the fuck should I know? You figure it out, shitheads. <laughs> That's huh? what I want to say too. Since Gonta said it was impossible, I'm proposing an alternate theory. Now hurry up and think! If you want to make my golden brain tingle, stop.
start circle Baba boot Nope Frames. Okay, well When Tenko got killed It wasn't during the seance But somehow It could not have been done at any other time she The marker stone? The, the whole time Dog statue, cage was white sheets, iron cage. What about moment cage was lifted? Like that. Oh, shut up. When cage <laughs> lifted, culprit stabbed Tanko real fast. So fast, no one saw. Hmm. Oh my! What is she doing? Cage? Well, we know who did that. Obviously, Himiko is the culprit. No. There's no <laughs> This is so stupid. Tenko not being killed during the seance. That might not be impossible, but there's no evidence when for it. That's what it was? Wrong. I had to look this one up. I did not know this one. I hate having to look things up. I, but no, I, I'm very careful not to spoil to myself. The moment the cage was lifted. Because the inside of the white cloth had Tenko's blood on it. I mean, I see. Yeah, I, I knew about the white cloth, but I don't know why. That cloth was removed before the cage was lifted. Oh, so yeah, that okay. So that explains the order of when she was killed. Okay, if Tenko makes was sense. Then there wouldn't be blood on the cloth. What? But how could my golden brain be wrong when it felt so? So right. You need help, Miu. The only possibility is that Tenko was killed during the seance. I got your remodel right here. Really? But it was obvious with the the noise and everything. No, it's still wrong to think that Tenko was killed during the seance. What? Well, okay, let's waste everyone's what? time. I'm gonna prove it right now. My golden brain is gonna go all out. Tenko uh, died yeah. after the seance. It happened when the sheet was lifted. That was the moment the culprit chose to stab the fuck out of Tanko through the cage. They stuck the thin blade through the gaps and that clean white sheet got stained blood red. But the weapon was a sickle. Only the blade could have fit through the gaps. Yeah. The blade's all you need if you stick the blade through a gap in the cage. It'd be long enough to reach Tenko. No, what is Sitting in there with her neck all exposed. She wasn't that far from the cage's gaps. In which case, the person who lifted the sheet is the culprit. And that's none other than Keo. Sitting in there with her neck all exposed. No, she was... I'll cut through your words. I don't know. <laughs> but that's it. That's the answer. Wait just a minute. Tenko wasn't sitting down inside the cage. She was laying down. She was bent over with her forehead against the marker stone, and the cage itself was about three feet tall. The sickle's blade was too short to reach Tenko while she was in that position. And there was no rip in the and the white and in, in the sheet, so that's the proof. No worries, Mew. Everyone already knows you're an embarrassment to the human race. <laughs> yeah, no worries. <laughs> oh, God, <Godson>, no! <laughs> When Gonta joins in, that's what you know, it's, it's all over for you. Right, then it's impossible for Tenko to have been killed through the cage. She couldn't have been killed during the seance since she was in the cage, right? If she was killed then, the cloth over the cage would have been pierced. Not during the seance or from below the floor. Then it's impossible, isn't it? Yeah, for a living person. Huh? <laughs> what if Angie's spirit killed Tenko? What are you talking about? Th th that's not possible. We don't know that. Some things are impossible for a human, but not for a spirit. Kokichi, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Don't say stupid stuff like that. S screw spirits. Stop that now. Angie's spirit killed Did Tenko? She just believes it? Himiko? Why would Angie's spirit kill Tenko? What if Tenko killed Angie, and then Angie's spirit came back for revenge? Like I said, that's impossible! Spirits can't be culprits! Then explain how the culprit killed Tenko under these impossible circumstances. Well, uh, 
See? You can't explain, can you? Only a spirit could have Wait, done that! Wait! I know! What if the culprit was hiding inside the cage? If they were in there, they could have stabbed Tenko during the seance! What? No. If there was someone else in the cage, we would have noticed. I agree with Kaito. The culprit could have been inside what? the cage. What?! Is everyone just gone stupid? You do? Nonsense. There was no space in the cage for the culprit to hide. Maybe the culprit wouldn't need to hide in the first place. What? Also, the culprit could have killed her in the cage at any time. I think you know what I'm getting at, right? The they she's referring to. Tanko! No. Is that that would make sense, actually. That, that's the only person in the cage. Really? No. I believe Maki is referring to Tenko herself. I was trying to figure it out myself. What did you say? I picked everyone in the game except for her. Are you saying Tenko is the culprit? She committed. Baba Boy. If she committed. Baba Boy. It would explain a lot of things we couldn't figure out. She volunteered to be in the cage and then stabbed herself during the seance. It wouldn't matter how dark the room was. But the sickle she was stabbed with was under the floor, right? If Tanko had stabbed herself, wouldn't the sickle still be inside the cage? Uh, oh my god. Mew actually said something <laughs> smart. Oh my god. <laughs> Perhaps that explains why the floorboard was removed. After stabbing herself with the sickle, she threw it underneath the floor. So no. she took off the floorboard to get rid of the sickle? Yes, that makes sense to Gonta. Well, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, it's stupid. There's no reason for Tanko to commit- Baba Boy. Maybe I wasn't too far off with the theory I had earlier. You know, about Tenko killing Angie. Yeah? I can see why she would be a suspect and- and- and... Because she didn't like her, right? And she- she said a lot- she already said that she didn't like her, she didn't trust her. So, I can see why that would be it, but... I just don't buy I don't buy it. Because Tenko and Angie were fighting for your attention, right? Yeah, that's what the game wants us to believe. The next day. Alright, my scrubs. Hey, we back. You don't know you didn't know I was gone. Challenge time. Can I not spill this cup noodles on my white sweater? That would cost me much to spare. But I do live dangerously. This is good this is good brain food. If I'm gonna solve this investigation, I need nutrition. Yeah. Her conscience couldn't handle it anymore. So she decided to no! Oh, you know, so I'm, I may have actually like, skipped a few lines because like this is like the next day So I literally never turned the game off because I didn't save it. You can't save it So uh, hey, so, so it says hey Angie. What did you brainwash Himiko? Tiko has been a fresh letter. Okay. Yeah, I think you got it What? But if she was gonna baba boy, why do it during the seance? She wanted uh, to hide the truth of her. Nope Really? Why? There could only be one reason to hide oh it my in God, the killing is, game, Oh god, this is right? so dangerous. It's to take us down with her. Oh. Nah. Take us down? Bro, shut up. <laughs> it's not. She wanted us to pick the wrong answer during the class trial. Oh, oh so, so hot. she could bring us all down. She wanted us to die with her. Okay, well, she probably just wanted Himiko to die with her, but still. You know, oh, no, she- if, if she's talking, if he is talking about Angie, I kind of believe that a little bit. Possible. Oh, what'd she say? What if all of that was just a lie? It just tastes weird. A lie? Wait, we should believe Tenko's last words. What the heck is wrong with this? The true terror of class trials is that you shouldn't believe everything said. Himiko, you said that Tenko would never do anything like that. But how can you be so sure? Did you guys actually know each other? People keep all sorts of secrets. Like Maki. She hid the fact that she's a cold-blooded killer. Is it wise of us to trust other people wholeheartedly in this kind of situation? Jeez, you're such a naive dude. Naive. Ooh, you don't say that to Kokichi. We're all just people, you know? Of course we're gonna have some secrets. What matters is whether there's any malice behind them. People can lie about how malicious their hidden secrets really are. Yeah, he, he would know about that. 
Well, duh. It's impossible to know for sure what others are thinking. That's why it all comes down to whether or not you believe in yourself. If you get betrayed, it's not their fault. It's your fault for believing in them. That's why I believed in Maki Roll, because I wanted to believe in her. Just because you're acting all cool doesn't mean you get to skip training. He's doing a cool anime moment hey, right now. Come on, don't you think you're being a little too strict? Well, we come from different backgrounds. So for now, let's agree to disagree. No one's ever called me naive before. And from Kaito? Seriously? Did that like actually get to him? Like something actually gets to Kokichi? I didn't think that was possible. Whether or not I believe. My heart can't reach Pinko anymore. But I want to believe in her. She wouldn't commit Baba Boy. She wouldn't try to take us down. That's what I want to believe. She would never do it to a girl anyway. <laughs> She didn't, she didn't like the degenerate Gota, males. No can believe Tenko commits Baba Boy. <clears throat> but if Tenko oh, did spicy. Commit, Baba Boy. That would answer all of our questions. If you insist we believe in Tenko, then provide a reason to do so. Oh. Never mind. Why you know? All right. I'll give you a reason. Is there a reason? Okay. Yes, there is. Will you trust me, Maki? If it turns out I'm wrong, you can blame me all you like. But for now, I need you to trust in my detective. Okay. Oh, she said I'll see you after the seance. Okay. Yeah. I I forgot about that. Just because we don't know how she was killed doesn't mean she did that. We shouldn't be satisfied with that if we keep thinking we'll find the truth. And that means we have to believe in Tenko. I'll make the mom believe. We have to remember that freaking uh, Kyo switched. He changed subjects, didn't he? He didn't want us to talk about Angie. Nope. So that leads me to believe that he killed Angie. Well, no, no, I believe he killed Tenko, but for some reason he didn't want us to talk about Angie. So actually it leads me to believe that he did both murders. Ooh, yeah, I, I, I passed. And I get a single drop. That's because I'm an ultimate, guys. That seems to be the best explanation. All right. Her plan was to take us down with her. No. So she hid her true intentions. Oh, Tenko's last moments? That's probably it. Tenko did commit No God! Explain how she died during the sale. She could have secretly brought the sale. Tenko. Those look cool. <laughs> and then stabbed herself with it. That would be stupid. And with the last of her strength. With she the... She threw the sickle underneath the floor. All the pieces fit. That's stupid. No one would do that. You'd be like, Ow, this really hurts. I'm not gonna... No. Hey! Lying for the win, boy! The lying mechanic makes things harder. Tenko couldn't have thrown the sickle under the floor because she died instantly. Yeah. Instantly? Oh yeah, so Maki did say that though. So technically it wasn't a lie. And, and, and if Maki did say that, how come she's saying that she didn't? When she's the one that said it herself. Did she forget? I'm of it. My investigation determined that she died instantly. What's your opinion, Maki? I'd like to hear from someone who specializes in murder. Maki. You're right. I completely forgot about that important detail. Oh, okay. Tenko died. What? As an assassin, I specialize in killing my targets swiftly. I have no doubt that Tenko was killed immediately. <laughs> Words of a true killer. Pretty sure we can believe everything she said. Thank you, Maki. Thank you. How could you forget that, Maki Roll? You better apologize to Shuichi. Excuse me? It's okay, Kaito, really. No apology necessary. Anyway, Tanko died so suddenly that she couldn't have gotten rid of the sickle. Knowing that, the theory that she killed herself just doesn't fit, correct? No. Just like I thought. Thank goodness, Himiko. Which means someone definitely killed Tenko during the seance. No! It was the loudest freaking bang ever. It, does anyone in this game have ears? No, there must have been a way. We're gonna figure it out. Did any of the participants witness anything peculiar Dang. during the seance? If you know something, please speak. I'll solve this. Sound during seance, my God. Did anything seem out of the ordinary during the seance? Yeah. 
sounds fair. Yeah. The ritual was perfect. Because you killed her. No, it was not perfect. There was a clear sound in it. No. Now that I think about it, how we were all singing the song. Uh huh. I heard something fall. Yeah. I'm oh, thinking about how dark it got in there. I mean, it was totally pitch black. My job was to relight the candles. Moving along the walls was seriously tough. So moving along the walls was tough. Yeah, so if if Kyo did sneak under, that, the question is how did he do it, right? Yes, I agree! I agree. Agreeing's nice, guys. I like agreeing. Because we don't argue, and arguing is bad. Himiko, you think that something fell because of that sound you heard, right? Ooh! <laughs> Bang! It's not like the Kool-Aid man freaking crashed through the room. Fell down ...and hit the floor really hard. You could have fallen down. Fallen down? There wasn't anything on the ceiling that could have fallen down, right? Am I wrong? I thought something fell. That's what I thought. Like, what, what, what could it have been? The sound was pretty loud. It did seem like something hit the floorboards. Maybe the sound has something to do with the other thing that happened in the dark. I, I knew someone grabbed my butt cheek. I knew it. A uh, loose floorboard? This is it! Wow, first try! Okay. I think the floorboard coming off had something to do with that sound. That floorboard came loose at some point during the seance, right? Dude, this noodle tastes like hairspray. Would have made such a loud sound, though? It was the sound of an intense impact. Oh, now you remember. If the impact was that intense, then it could have loosened the floorboard. Uh, that's true. It would have been a, a strong impact to make the sound. But was it? What could it possibly be? All right, then. Let's go with that. We all gotta put our heads together now. Oh God, dude, we've done so many of these. So cross what piece. made the floorboard come loose? Sound during seance, cross piece. from the sound, there must have been considerable force. I'm gonna say cross piece. Oh, someone who participated in the seance will be that person to off the floorboard. Never mind. That wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. It, yeah, it had to. But have. that statue was still on top of the cage. Culprit hide under floor, then stood up with such might. But we already said there was no one under the floor. Someone must have stomped through the floorboard. Oh. A floorboard that comes loose when you step on it is dangerous. God, it's like I'm the only one here who's staying on the ball. You hardly have any experience with balls to say that, Mew. <laughs> don't be stupid. Don't you know me and balls are the best of friends? Proud of that? <laughs> okay. Too much information. Wait a minute, what the heck? It says right here, Teiko died in a crouched position. The injury on the back of her neck was deep, but probably not enough to kill her immediately. I never read that before. So like if she got stabbed, right, and it didn't kill her immediately, wouldn't she like rise up and hit her head or something? And maybe that would cause the uh, noise of some sort? I so literally had to look this up. Loose. Sound during seance, something that fell. I, I tried that. Is my game bugged? What is this? I mean, no, it's cross piece under the floor with stomp through the floorboard. I tried it all, but it's probably gonna work. I probably didn't, but I swear I did. Sometimes the mechanics of this game just makes you so mad because like ah, you just like you try everything Kokichi is right the floorboard came loose because someone stomped on it. All right. Wow. So surprising Perfect. Going to make sure first time we go to empty room when we first saw the room. Yes But when I looked again during the investigation One of the cross pieces supporting the floorboards was cut off after examining the cut, I concluded that it must have been done deliberately. Someone? You mean the culprit, right? Why'd they do that? What did the culprit stand to gain by cutting the cross piece? I don't know, so they can move the floorboard easier? So Tenko's body was at one of the loose floorboards. 
The cross piece that had been cut was on the other end of the floorboard. The unsupported part was uh, outside the cage. Well, she did get flipped over, kind of, right? So it could have been stomped on. Oh, maybe that's how they slipped through easily down to the bottom. Yeah, that's how he got under, I bet. One of them was right under Tinko. And the other was in the center, right where the, the edge of the case was. This just makes sense because if Kori Kiyo drew the circle, he drew the circle so perfectly that she would be in the exact spot she he wanted her to be in. That way he can commit commit the murder, right? And then and the the sound uh, the crashing sound was just him probably going under and the board, you know, going back. Yeah, something something like that. This makes sense. He, he was in charge of placing her. She died. End of story. Okay, so the answer is Seesaw Effect. I don't know. I'm just going to assume it's uh, for leverage, basically. Use the power of leverage. I learned that in class, I think. That's right. The floorboard might have been used as a seesaw. Huh? A seesaw? The cross piece at one end of the floorboard had been cut off. The other two cross pieces holding up that board were close to the cage. Meaning, if you were to apply force to the end of the floorboard with no crop. <laughs> the next cross the piece would act as a fulcrum to turn the floorboard into a level. Oh! Oh my god! So that's how she hit her head then! I was at least right about that! A lever capable of lifting up Tenko's entire body. Yeah, so she got her- oh my god, she got her head slammed up against the thing. So, if she wasn't knocked out, that probably knocked her out. That explains the blood. Wow. Her whole body lifted up? Yeah, that sounds like a seesaw, all right. But why bother lifting Tenko's body? They just wanted to get under the thing, right? They didn't actually care. They couldn't have killed Tenko like that. Unless they used the sickle. What if that's what actually killed her? That's exactly it. Using the seesaw trick, it was possible to kill Tenko with a sickle. What? Huh? In order for the culprit to kill Tenko with a seesaw trick, the placement of the sickle is the most important factor. I do not follow. For it, it would have had to have been uh, on top of the cage. That's the only thing I can think of. But how? Wouldn't they have noticed that? That's it. What? How'd they get the sickle in there? The sickle without people was at noticing. The top of the iron cage with the blade facing down. How come no one noticed that? The reason we didn't see it was because of the fabric covering the cage. Wait, wasn't there a point where? But they looked at it also, afterwards. The wooden statue kept the blade in place. It's true that the sickle's handle was thick, which made the statue wobble. But the statue's weight kept it from falling over. I have to see this crap for myself. I don't believe this. I swore I remember them like carrying this thing in there without the the white piece on top of the cage. I can't see that anymore, but I, that's what I'm thinking, right? Unless I'm just remembering wrong. Once everything was in place, if you stepped hard enough on the seesaw, Tenko's body would have shot upward and hit the blade on the top of the cage. Yeah, that would kill someone. That would definitely kill someone. Ooh. She was bent over, meaning the sickle's blade would have connected with her neck. The six inch sickle blade wasn't long enough to stab Tenko in her crouch position. This is- But with the floorboard acting as a seesaw- One of the smartest the murders the ever. Blade. Props Bringing to the them. Victim to the sickle, rather than bringing the sickle to the victim. That's definitely an unorthodox idea. It's crazy, but it would explain how Tenko got stabbed while she was in the cage. So the sound we heard was the culprit stomping on the floorboard. So they never actually went under that the floorboard. Make floorboard come loose. But I'm assuming that Angie's like gonna be a part of that, though. Good old-fashioned seesaw. She was homicide. killed in another room or something. Wait, what the hell's a seesaw homicide? That's fucking crazy. The craziness is what really makes the killing game fun, you know. They can't get away with murder the normal way, so they gotta think outside the box. Kudos, culprit! You did a great job keeping me entertained. It doesn't matter, they're gonna get found out anyway. Indeed. Well played, Himiko. Yeah? Himiko? 
What? It was you, wasn't it? The one behind the seesaw homicide. He just homicide. points fingers? No one does that. Huh? Why her? Because she's the only one capable of carrying out this plan. How? The only one? Why is that? Because this seesaw homicide required its location to be prepared before. Oh, he set her up. That's what he did. By cutting the cross piece beneath the floorboard, you mean? Then the culprit would need to lure their victim into the prepared room. That is why you chose that room for the seance. Is it not, Himiko? However, there are three empty rooms, which uh, one Shelly's- it, it, would, it wouldn't matter. No, maybe I think- I think they were all cut, actually. I think they were all cut. Oh, yeah. Himiko was the one who chose the site for the seance! Yeah, the other floorboards were messing with too. That's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna guess, but I don't know. You likely found out about my plans for the seance somehow. You were quite vocal about the seance, Kyo. You even had instructions for it in your lab. Our culprit, Himiko, prepared her seesaw trap ahead of time. Then she waited for me to host the seance and suggested the middle room. She, she would let not us think all of this. into holding the seance right where she wanted it. Then... She killed Tenko, all according to plan. That's a lie, right? Himiko did such a thing? In the end, Himiko, who Tenko cherished and loved, tragically killed her. Wait! We don't know that, right? He's wrong, right, Himiko? Himiko would never kill Tenko, right? Still, Tenko? I killed Tenko? Sh don't agree! Himiko? What's wrong, Himiko? It's true that using the middle room was her idea, but does that really mean she did it? Why would something like that really happen? Something so cool. Intermission time. Oh my god. Barely. <laughs> Guess the victim quiz! Oh god. Not a culprit quiz. The only victims are the people who are still watching this drawn out boring crap. Why are you being such a downer all of a sudden? I, I'm sure everyone is happy. You could be skipping this entire conversation for all we know. A lot of the times I do, but... Okay, actually they aren't saying anything. I am gonna skip it. This is my impression of a spooky scary ghost. So. Ah! I'm fine with real ghosts, but impressions of them are too scary! Logic does not compute. Is all that remains of uh, did you hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. I gotta adjust. Threshold of an amazing adventure showtime. You know what else is scary? Sweet buns. One. Yep, tasty, tasty sweet buns. So round, so sweet, so delicious. There, I should be in focus now. That doesn't sound scary at all. I'm scared too. Scared of losing my friends. Uh, did you hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. Am I focused? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Answer us, Himiko. You chose the middle room to lure us into your trap, did you not? Okay. And you used that trap to kill Tenko, yes? Say something. Well, Donkey Lips, donkey did you lips? kill that twat? What does that even mean? Wait, the must donkey be some lips? mistake. No way, Himiko is culprit. Maybe she thinks that she killed her. Then she needs to defend herself. Otherwise, this debate is deadlocked. I don't care if you got to use magic to do it, but say something already. Are you even listening? No, I'm not listening. What? I don't care anymore. Oh no. Too tired. This isn't good. Angie died. Tanko died. Why did I have to survive? And now, you're all saying I killed them? I just don't care anymore. Yeah, she literally has zero reason to kill them. So it, it makes no sense that anyone Whatever. would believe that. If you want to vote for me, then just go ahead. She is not being a team player right now. The game gets really blah if the suspect isn't into it. That's not the problem. Damn it. Don't tell me you've given up. Himiko, don't give up. Don't you understand? 
My life is riding on the outcome of this trial! Just shut up. I told you, I'm too tired. It's all just a big pain. I can't put up with it anymore. What are you talking about? If you give up here... You needn't worry. Kimiko is the one who chose that room. Therefore, she is unmistakably the culprit. Impossible! Himiko would never kill Tanko! He's clearly the suspect. Himiko, not that kind of person! Gota can tell by Himiko's face! Himiko's a little... slow, so I don't think she's capable of handling a complicated crime. I also think Himiko's not the culprit. Um, somehow... Thanks, Simugi. Either way, we gotta look for more possibilities. <laughs> that does seem like rather a pointless quest. No, it's not. We gotta be strong. Gotta keep thinking. He's trying to lure them then away. We might find new truth. So no give up, Himiko. Himiko, I know how you feel. I felt the same way after Kaede died. But we can't give up. We survived. We can't give up for the sake of everyone who died. All right, debate time. All right, uh, Bloody Kokichi. In that room. Bloody Kokichi was, was a little weird. Position. Why was he bloody? We still don't know that part yet, right? What if someone steered her into picking that room. Of the three empty rooms. Oh no, he said he fell through the floor. Why did you select the middle one? Yeah, because he went into the other room and he fell through it. He never got to explain that. But that that only in that room? That proves what I said earlier that all the rooms were like that. Other rooms may be trapped too. I agree! I agree! I got it. I am so happy because sometimes I get so stuck on these. It's just like going to set. Each room was the same. They were all trapped. Sometimes the monkey in my head starts clapping the symbols and it works. What? Is that true? Kokichi will tell you. Mm -hmm. Oh, but he's asleep. He that was here? way too careless. Uh, wait, water. what are you talking about? Found it. No, but it's right there. He says it. While you were in the room next to the crime scene, you found a loose floorboard, right? Well, I didn't find it so much as I stepped through it and tripped. What? Hold on! There was also a loose floorboard in the next room? So the culprit prepared a trap in all three empty rooms, not just the middle one. If the culprit set traps in all the rooms, then they wouldn't- I mean, I gotta hand it to him. This was a really good one. This was a really so unexpected real trap one. for someone else to pick a room and take the blame. Very smart. I see. We were caught in the culprit's <laughs> trap all along. Dude, just shut up already. Especially you! But now there's no reason to suspect Himiko. Himiko. Do you remember what Tanko told you? Keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. I should have known instantly when she said that that she was going to die. That was just so obvious. Those are dying words. Live life facing Famous forward. last words. She said that to you, right? If you give up on living, you'd be betraying her memory. Yeah. We're all trying to keep our promises to the dead. Oh, don't show them. Come on. This trial... It's not just for our lives. It's for everyone who's died. I'm just mad well. that Rontaro didn't come back. That's why we can't give up. This is our responsibility. We live on. You're right. Yeah, that's right. If I gave up here, I wouldn't be able to face Angie or Tinko. That's right. So let's do our best. <laughs> pain anymore i won't give up i'll fight alongside everyone and survive do it do not say everyone after all the blackened is still among us yeah Jeez, there you go killing the mood like usual but damn well said shuichi <laughs> that's what i'd expect for my soul bro your soul bro well anyway do you think the blackened this romance, time has though. some sort of superpower what are you talking about well, as a self-proclaimed expert of stepping through floorboards, isn't it weird that no one stepped through that floorboard before the culprit used it? Yes. Ah, that is a good point. There must have been barrier magic. Well, that's one possibility, but I think it might have been something else. Why did no one step on the floorboard until it was used for the murder? Ah, 
That's the reason. No, this proves that someone did, huh? Right here? The dried the dried blood? Let's try that. Oh come on. That's gotta be related. This is it! Yeah, they made it so where like no one would step on it. It's because of the magic circle at the scene of the crime. It's it was really perfect. Can't believe it. Can't Before believe he's getting away with it. Or he's seance, not getting away with it, because I'll make sure not to step on the circle. The floorboard in question was within the circle. I just can't believe how obvious it is, and they haven't like how obvious so it is, and they haven't got it. The purpose was to keep us away from the whole trick. That was part of the culprit's plans too. I just want to know how is he gonna get out of it then? Woo! I I finally get to pick. All right, let's br freaking get this little snake out of here. I've just I suspected him from the beginning. It has to be you. Come on, just simple. Kyo, was it you? Hmm. Whatever are you talking about? I'm talking about Tenko's murder. Kyo? Why do you suspect me? Because you were the one who drew the magic circle. I'm just super curious about Angie now. The circle kept us from discovering the seesaw trick, but that's not all it was for. In order to make the murder succeed, variables like Tenko's position and the placement of the cage needed to be defined. And those variables were defined by using the magic circle. In short, the circle itself was the most important tool in this murder. Knowing that, the person who drew the magic circle has to be the culprit. Well, Kyo? Yeah, Kyo? Yeah, Kyo, what do you gotta say about that? Answer already! Did you do it? <laughs> oh no. This is an anime villain. What the heck? What is so funny? I was just thinking. So this is how each blackened must have felt. What an intriguing experience this is. What? An intriguing experience? But if I am the culprit as you claim, then I stomped on the floorboard, yes? So, do tell. How could I have stomped on the floorboard during that darkened seance? Uh, well, the, the magic circle was all like messed up, I think, right? By the time they turned the lights on, so he probably just went through. I mean, but yeah, that's a good question. Like, he must have just known. I don't know. I see. That is problem. <laughs> Unless that is made clear, you cannot be certain I am the culprit. How can you be so calm when you're backed into a corner like this? I will explain that in due time. Please well, answer there my was a question There was first. a candle under there, so, so maybe, right? Maybe the candle was lit, but I don't know. I don't know about that. Although, even after I put out the candle, I can move along the wall with my hands. Wait a minute. Maybe... Did you figure it out? That's it. The culprit didn't even have to see it all. They used... Uh... Smell? Sixth sense. Hearing. Hearing. Like. What? Uh, I don't know. Uh, hearing. No. That's it! What? They like follow the, the, the salt? The culprit used touch. They didn't see. They felt. That way they could get around in the dark. Like how I got to the candle. Wasn't Seesaw in middle of room? Gonta doesn't think it was near wall. So they probably used something besides the wall to move then, right? Hmm? Were there any other markers within reach? Of course the answer to that is, there was nothing of the sort. I'm sure there was something. A landmark they could have used to determine where the floorboard was. It must have been that, the scene, I know it. Okay. It was the magic circle, I was right, they stepped on the salt. That crunchiness gave it away. That's why you use salt. That's it! The magic circle! They used the magic circle! Remember? The magic circle was drawn with salt. The culprit used the salt's texture to feel their way through the dark. I see. So Keo traced the magic circle with his hands to get to the loose floorboard. And it was a pretty long song too, so... Oh, I see. You drew the magic circle with salt to use it as a guide. 
an interesting thought. It is unfortunate that it is so wrong. I actually use night vision goggles. Recall the document. What did the magic circle look like? Based on the document, the magic circle wouldn't reach the corners of the room. Uh huh. So what? When the room was darkened, each of us was in a corner of the room, yes? The magic circle didn't reach us, so I could not have followed it, yes? But you're talking about the magic circle in the document. That doesn't mean the circle you drew was the same. No, I most definitely drew it exactly the same. I have it perfectly memorized. He's offended, even. Um, so which is it? Is there any way to check? Not anymore. The magic circle is a complete mess from being trampled on. I see another piece of the puzzle. Drawing the circle with salts, all but guaranteed it would be temporary. The investigation itself would have been- Oh, it got rid of the- it's, not, it's super clever. Everyone, may I have your attention, please? Hmm, what a pain. Oh, does he actually have, like, a, have a picture or what? Now. He has some recording? Excuse me, everyone. May I have your attention, please? Well, I guess there's no point in discussing the magic <laughs> circle anymore. He has clear anymore. evidence, but no one wants to listen. Hey, may I have your attention? Oh, I said cut that out! <laughs> Quit flashing us! I apologize. I just wanted everyone to listen to me. About what? I had Mew add another function to my body, in addition to the flashlight. Oh god, what is it this time? No way! Did you really... Stop! You can't! I didn't install it for that purpose! Please, let me use it! With it, I might be able to save everyone. <laughs> What's it? What, where's this going? Alright, so... What is this function? It's an image recording function. Image recording? I know, it's a pictures. Specifically, this function allows me to dispense a printout of my own memory. I'll give it a try. Ooh. Ready? There we go. I oh, did he develop some too. Holy crap. Oh, your mouth? I also used magic like that before. This printout How? is my memory of being kicked out of the seance. Please confirm that the floor of the empty room is clearly visible. Go on. Take the picture and see for yourself. Take it from my mouth. Uh, okay, got it. So this is the magic circle used for the seance. Well, Shuichi, do you notice anything? Notice anything? I don't know, I have to compare them. Well, I'm gonna, uh, the pathway, that's all I can really think of, but I don't know, it's probably not it. I'm, we'll see. Or maybe like these markings kind of would simple something, but I'm just gonna select this, no? This, no? Oh wait, that says like four, two, maybe? No? Am I just like making up crap? The sides are different. There. Hey, first try, guys. First try. Not a, not like this fifth try. This helped a lot, Kibo. Without you, I never would have seen through Kyo's line. My line. Spill the beans. You just said that you drew the magic circle exactly as it appears in the document. But that's not true, is it? But that's a lie, isn't it? The magic circle at the scene had lines that stretch to the room's corners, which means that you would be able to find the floorboard from anywhere in the room. So it was different from the document after all. It was all. the perfect crime. All because Himiko noticed. And because of Kibo, too. Hey, where's my thanks? I'm the one who installed that function in the Why? Kibo. Hey, yeah, what was it you were saying about its purpose? Oh, to be honest, the purpose of that image recording function is to monitor my health. Specifically, I make Kibo use that function every day to... What? Analyze my turds! What? Your what? Why? Shit is a great Money. indicator of intestinal health and gut bacteria quality! Plus, taking a satisfying shit <laughs> does wonders for a woman's natural beauty, so... See? You're all grossed out! This is why I didn't want to tell you about You forced Kibo to do this? Quit talking about your poop. No one cares. Tell them. Tell them, Kyo, Himiko. You killed Tenko, didn't you? I don't care about Just your give poop. Give up and admit it already. So, Kyo, if you have any objections, you can... Your deductions are fiction. He disagrees, after all. He's going to waste everyone's time. Because it's obvious that he is. Well, since you've given me the option, I will most certainly object. To be honest, it's unimportant. 
but it may be an amusing diversion. It's not me, because I said so. Now I shall bear witness to your ability, Shuichi. Do entertain me. All right, we got to do the sword the duel v thingy. If you are going to claim I am the culprit, then what of the murder weapon? It was set up in the cage. The only people capable of that are Kokichi and Shuichi who carry the cage. Yeah, so this is what I'm. Fall on them. Uh, this is what I'm a little confused about too. If you are going to claim I am the culprit. Then what of the murder weapon? Maybe it's the dog statue. It was set up in the cage. Right? Maybe the only people capable of that are Kokichi and Shuichi who carry the cage. So suspicion should fall on them. True, we could have placed the sickle there, but we could not have removed it later because we weren't the ones who lifted the cage. That was Himiko. Yes. The only person who could have collected the sickle is he. But the only people who could have placed the sickle are Kokichi. But in regards to that dilemma, I did not carry the cage, nor did I lift it. I had no opportunity to touch the sickle. Uh, so simply put, I am not the killer. The white sheet. The white sheet's probably it. That's the answer. I had no opportunity to touch the I sickle. I knew it. I'll cut through your words. Cut through the bullcrap. The only person who could have set up the sickle and retrieved it afterward is Kyo. That was done by covering the cage with a white cloth. You could have secretly placed the sickle when you draped the cloth. How though? What kind of magic trick is that? And retrieved it afterward when you removed the cloth. Then, while everyone was distracted, you discreetly drop the sickle under the floor. Wonderful! That's exactly correct. <laughs> Yay, we did it! <laughs> what? It's correct? Then why don't you give up already? <laughs> the trick I put so much work into is just wasted effort now. Alas. So, it was you? You killed Tinkle? Let me guess. You'll never forgive me. Himiko, you must hate me so very much. Maybe you'd feel better if I was executed by Monokuma. But unfortunately for you, that won't happen. Really now? I would love to... Oh. Oh my god! It's because he didn't kill Angie! He... Oh my god. Oh crap. He's... Oh wow. So he's like... He's the first person that's gonna get away with murder. And everyone's gonna know it. Oh wow, that's that's gonna be insane. Because if you vote for me, every spotless, including myself, will die. Yeah, because they shouldn't have been focusing on Tenko. Angie! What are you talking about, Keo? What? <laughs> <laughs> He's gone all freaking You still don't understand? Uh I forgot his name from the Seki game. I killed Tenko. That is the truth. But it is meaningless in this class. So this trial. is a big waste of time, Ooh. kind of. You mean Monokuma's extra rule, right? <laughs> He's like, actually, I'm gonna update the rule. <laughs> ah, crap. You see, I killed Tenko, but not Angie. For us, Tenko's death is nothing but a trivial issue. Because the blackened in this trial is the culprit who killed Angie. Is it really not him, though? Uh, trivial issue? No, that's gotta be a lie. You probably killed Angie, too! That is simply not possible. Recall that I was unable to enter Angie's lab. What if it was Tenko that killed Angie? Because that would make a lot of sense. I really think that would make a lot of sense. She clearly was uh, all over freaking Hifumi- or he Himiko. Oh, only student council members and Kokichi could enter research lab. How could I have possibly killed Angie when I couldn't even enter her lab? We can figure that out. No one else could have done it besides you. If you're the one who killed Tenko, you gotta be the one who killed Angie! I understand how you feel, Himiko, but maybe we can discuss this rationally and calmly. 
There is a non-zero possibility that Kyo is telling the truth. So you understand how she feels. I see. Wait, robots can understand human what? feelings? Uh, of course I understand. I work really hard to understand. Hey, why are you getting all worked up, Kibo? Chill, dude. That's enough! It's voting time! I'm gonna vote for him! Kimiko, get your head out of your butt! <laughs> voting for me will only help the one who murdered Ange. Isn't Kyo culprit? Of course I'm not. This case was an error on my part. Monokuma added that rule after both bodies were found, yes? How was I to know that the trial would only be for Angie's killer? Had I known, I certainly wouldn't have killed Tenko. You're lying! You killed Tenko and Angie! Now hold on. Jumping to conclusions here is dangerous. Mm-hmm. We should talk it out more. This case might have juicy plot twists waiting to happen. Hmm, self aware, are we? Any way you look at this case, Keo is obviously the culprit. Yeah, there's sort of no other way to look at it. No, it's too dangerous to vote before we arrive at a logical decision. The culprit's one of you. Ooh, what the heck? This argument is getting intense. The Ultimate Academy is proud to present. It's very own Morgan Oh, so we're going to do the thing again. Now. Okay, I got it. I got it. Yippee! I've been waiting for this. <laughs> He's excited. Why were you waiting for it? All right, so we're going to do the thing. Yeah, you know the thing. All right. These are pretty cool, though. I like these. Tinko and Angie. Uh, mystery. It's a mystery. He forced his way into Angie's research lab and killed her. Roll. Kill. Not possible. That rule was added after both murders. He's like a murderer. <laughs> Kyo, help! Was found Wait. in Kyo's lab. Uh. So Kyo did kill Tanko, but he not blackened. He was planning to use the new rule to protect himself all along. We solved the mystery of Tanko's death. Can't we? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Not yet. There's still another mystery to solve. You just basically have to match up the words. Tanko. Oh God. I, oh, this is this is where it gets hard because I don't know the I I don't have a controller so literally I can't match up I the buttons. I literally can't match up the buttons it wants me to. I can't match it up. It's impossible. I have to like figure it out. This is stupid. I it's all because I don't have a controller. Okay, so Y is W. Got it. What's B then? I don't know what B is. Okay, okay so B is D. This is very confusing. <laughs> this is very confusing. Okay. Great, now I gotta do that again. I hope I remember it. Extre this is extremely confusing. Really, you're gonna make me go through the whole cutscene? Oh my god. Okay, let's try this again. I don't know if I can do it, but. Okay, okay, Y is W. Gotta remember that. Okay, B is, I don't know. I don't know which one's B. Which one's B? What am I even pressing? Oh my god. I'm so glad we got past that. <laughs> I didn't want to do it again. Oh, that was way too hard. It would be a mistake to vote before we've completely solved Angie's murder. And there's still the mystery of Tenko's murder. Mystery? What kind of mystery? Well, Kyo's confession derailed our conversation a bit. But we still have to go over one of the clues found at Tenko's crime scene. I believe it might even have something to do with Angie's murder. The only piece of evidence of Tenko's murder scene. Oh, the dried blood. This is it! Yeah, it's like it's like she was killed there. The blood stain found under the floor. Maki and I found it during the investigation. It was beneath the floorboard that the culprit stomped on. Is that Tenko's blood? That blood stain was too far from Tenko's corpse to have been hers. Also, the blood stain was already dry when we found it, but the blood from Tenko's body hadn't even begun to dry yet. Well, that's weird. Why was that blood stain the only dry one? Because it happened before the seance. That's it. The blood stain wasn't from Tanko's murder. It was there before we started the seance. Before the seance? The blood stain from before the seance it had to be Angie's. That's it. That blood stain wasn't Tenko's. It was Angie's. Why was blood from Angie at 
the scene of Tinko's murder. Yeah, wasn't Angie killed in her research lab? Just because we found her body there doesn't mean she was killed there. Ah, I guess that's possible. If Angie wasn't killed in her lab, then that opens up a lot more possibilities. We assumed that only council members could have killed Angie since her body was in her lab. But if she died somewhere else, then we can't suspect just the council members anymore. We're gonna go through everything again. So the culprit didn't enter her lab, but waited for her to come out of it? I'm not sure if the culprit waited for her, but they probably killed her when she came out. Well, I thought that was more likely from the start. So I went to places Angie might have gone and checked all three empty rooms. Places she might have gone? Why did you check the empty rooms then? Hmm? The empty rooms were the only places I could think of that Angie would go. Did Angie have business in rooms? <laughs> it seems Kokichi's up to his usual misleading nonsense again. <laughs> I do lie a lot, and I could be lying right now too. But I'm pretty sure someone's panicking right now because of my lie. I, I gotta say, if it's not Cordy, I, I, don't, I don't know who it could have been. Other than, than Tenko. Because that would have made sense to me, but now I don't understand. Is his statement true, or...? Oh, well, let's find out. Uh... The art research lab... Something about the Necromonicon. Check an empty room instead! She left her lab on her own? But why would she go into an empty room? There shouldn't have been anything in there. Except for candles. That's it! Oh. She wanted a candle! Hey! We agree, agree on something! She needed them for the seance or for the ritual. So that's why she went in there. That's it. And she went to that room. To Makes sense candle. to me! Yeah! For no! Nope! God! Uh, no. And she was gonna use it for the ritual. According to the Necronomicon, to resurrect the dead. Hey, yeah, you gotta prepare the effigy, burn the neck around the ashes, use caution, be careful of the carbon monoxide poisoning. Then, did she seek out a candle so she could burn the book? That's right! There's nothing to start a fire with in Angie's lab. So she oh. went to go get a candle from one of the empty rooms! And that's when the culprit attacked her! That's why there was dried blood under floor. So what they do, clean it? Angie was attacked in the same room the seance was held. What are the, yeah, what are the odds though, right? Crazy. Bravo, Himiko. Well done for choosing that room for the seance. Mm -hmm. If we hadn't done the seance in that room, then Tenko's murder would have been in another room. If that happened, no one would have discovered Angie's blood stain under the floorboards. That's right. Shuichi and I only checked under the floorboards where Tenko died. Yep. It's all thanks to Himiko for choosing the same room as Angie. This must be a two as will. Oh, don't go there. Don't go there, Kokichi. It's neither. I just picked one. Hold on. You're all acting as though you've proven that is fact already. You claim Angie was murdered in the empty room and then moved to the lab? <laughs> then how do you explain the large amount of blood in the lab? It may be possible to carry a body, but blood cannot be moved. I think she was still alive after the attack in the empty room. Hmm. She, just a little she bit. was killed after she was carried to her lab. Which means the culprit attacked her twice. I have evidence of that. Uh, well, it was like the injury on her forehead, right? Something about not, there not being blood. This is it. Yeah. So she just got knocked out first. The fatal wound was a cut to the back of her neck from a katana. But she also showed signs of blunt force trauma. And I think I know why. After Angie was knocked unconscious in the empty room, she was killed in her lab. And of course it would have been open. I see. So that puddle of blood is from the killing blow. Ha! It's all clear now. Angie was attacked in the empty room, carried to her lab, and it was there that the culprit finished her off! All clear. This is all clear. 
What are you all talking about? You, you, he's making himself sound all so clear. suspicious. What is all clear? What is... What are you... <laughs> all clear? Do not say the word clear. What are... You all... You... What are those? You what? What? <laughs> what? Are, I will not fear. I will not back down. What? He's a girl? Sweet Correcchio, calm yourself. What? Their words are all hollow. There is no meaning to any of them. Either that he's a pretty looking man. You must teach these ignorant children a lesson. <laughs> what the heck? That's why he covered his mouth? Yes. Dude, he's the most Orochimaru right. character I've ever seen. Okay. He is exactly like Orochimaru in so many ways. My God. I swear he was based off of him. About? You're giving me the goddamn willies. <laughs> Not yet. Nothing is clear at all. It's full of doubts, of mysteries, of a dense, impenetrable fog! So, so he did it. He did it all. Okay, I got it. Nothing it's clear now. Clear at I know, all. That's pretty clear, actually, by the screaming. Here it is. I, mean, I gotta do this again? Just cut to the chase of the game? Angie was attacked in the empty room first. And then carried into the research lab? Impossible. Impossible! That's nothing but a delusion! You intend to poison our minds with your delusions? It's no delusion. Angie's two external wounds tell the story. After she was struck in the empty room, she was carried to the art research lab and then killed. You say the culprit carried Angie's body? And not a single drop of blood fell? The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. The sheets. Is it the sheets? There'd still be traces of evidence left behind. But there was no evidence anywhere. Was the loose there, floor. No, no, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Could you imagine, like, I go. Was wrong. Every, like, this is actually how court is like. They just, like, hand you a sword. All right, start cutting. What? Blood oh, fell. the bloody duct the tape was taped over her hair. Oh, but no, no, that was it. No, that's it. That's it for sure. That that explains the duct tape. The thing is, is like, they, they weren't even saying it was him. What were they? But yeah, he's acting suspicious. That's the thing. Why would he do that? There was evidence left at the scene. The bloody tape under Angie's body. What? It was wrapped around her head to stop the bleeding while she was being carried. Bloody tape? Gonta didn't notice at all. Gonta, you need to open your eyes. It's most likely evidence the culprit should have gotten rid of. But since it was hidden, the culprit didn't notice and failed to dispose of it. It must have fallen as the fatal blow was dealt and ended up under her body. It must have been Atua who did that for Well, us. you know, Atua, Atua should have saved her, then okay. <laughs> what? Atua? How long are you going to keep that up? Now we know most of the mystery behind Angie's murder. I'm convinced. There's only one person who could have killed Angie. I wonder if it's the shaky, quivering one. Uh, <laughs> just look at how so much she's sweating. Uh, I, I wonder who this could possibly be. It's not. It has to be you. I'm actually mad. It is just him. I'm mad because I thought we were going to get another killed. one. You killed Angie. That would have been so interesting if he actually would have killed someone and then still been alive. Right? What the fuck? Well, that was obvious. Yeah, that, that is. Boring, Kokichi, I, I agree with answer. you. I really do. Killed both of them. Oh, yeah. Himiko is going to enjoy this. She's going to grab her popcorn and watch this. Why did you kill them? In terms of pure logic, only one victim was necessary to win. Why? Why you kill them both? Yeah, it was completely unnecessary. I think one of the murders was an accident. An accident? That's right. It wasn't part of the plan. Huh? Which one? That'd have been Angie. Tinko was definitely uh, intentional. That's it! Angie's murder was an accident. What? Tenko wasn't accident? That's right. Kyo originally planned to kill someone with a seesaw trick. But while he was making preparations in the empty room, Angie walked in. So he decided to kill her in order to keep her from talking. Okay, but why go... If, if if he killed her, why go through the trouble of trying to kill Tenko then? 
He didn't, the, the rule didn't exist, so it didn't matter. She just happened to walk in on the culprit setting up and was killed. Then he should have just stopped there. And he killed Angie. There was no reason for him to kill Tinkle. Exactly. He only needed to kill one for this game. Killing two is pointless. If you get bonus points for killing more, then sure. Otherwise, it leaves more clues behind. Why, Kyo? Why you kill two of our friends? What is it? What on earth are you talking what about? Are you no, I'm not the culprit. So, why is everyone looking at me like I am? Why? Why are they? Oh, why is it? It's Call so obvious. Correcio. Yes. You mustn't raise your voice. You mustn't stutter. You mustn't lose composure. You mustn't become flustered. Look at their horrid faces. This sorry lot is not worth agonizing over. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, you're right. There he goes again. What the hell's wrong with him? It almost seems like he's talking with someone. Someone? He's just talking to himself. And why the hell is he wearing lipstick? <laughs> no matter how loudly you protest, this is a trivial matter. I will never acknowledge your allegations. Not right. a single one of them. I he doesn't undo his zipper when he talks. Seems like it. Well, see, what's it, what's there it there for? There's no evidence that I killed Angie. No, I will not acknowledge it. I will only acknowledge facts, true events. I won't acknowledge fiction, mystery. Okay. I won't acknowledge your deductions or guesses. I just will not. Dude, is that the Smash Bros logo on his head? Oh my god, he's coming to Smash. I'm excited. Said, good job, Correcchio. Yes. Correcchio. Thanks. Correcchio. I've been saying Correcchio. Correcchio. Ah, creeps me the fuck out! No evidence. There's no evidence that he killed Angie. You're wrong. There is evidence. He wrote his name. What? You do realize bluffs like that won't work, kid. The weapon that was used to knock Angie unconscious in the empty room. That weapon tells us the whole story, Kyo. What weapon did he use? <laughs> <laughs> That's not possible. I think you may have misunderstood. Oh, it was a board! He used a board! Apologize. Yeah, yeah, a loose floorboard is what he used. Apologize. Apologize. Um, apologize. <laughs> apologize. 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 Uh, I, I think I'll pass on that. Apologize. Seriously, what the hell's happening? I have no idea what's happening with Keo, but I know the weapon he used to prove it. Yeah, there was blood on the corner. Oh, I gotta do this. I have nothing to admit. Oh my God. Oh no. I don't know which one's a press. Oh. Yes. oh. Oh my god. So I have nothing to confess. Which was the star key? Three hours later. Oh, finally. Here we you go. You have no proof uh, that Correcchio is the killer. Board, board, remove. First try. First try. I told you what? I am not what? the culprit. So why are you what kind of group is this? Like that? Correcchio is the killer. Uh, remove the board floor. <laughs> it ends here. Oh my god, that was stressful. Ah! That was stressful. What? <laughs> Is he, is he a guy? I, with the same I really would like to know. In the seesaw trick. I see. And how do you know the floorboard was a murder weapon? Because I found a the blue on it. Blood, I find the Pepto-Bismol on it. Blood that spattered there when the culprit struck Angie with the board. But that's not the only evidence that she was hit with that floorboard. There's also the blood stain under the floor to consider. For that, the floorboard must not have been in place at the time of the attack. Good point. Had the floorboard been in place, her blood wouldn't have splattered beneath it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Keo's earlier confession is further evidence that the floorboard was used. H how? If the weapon used to hit Angie is the floorboard from the seesaw trick, it means the culprit knew about the seesaw. So the same person killed Tenko and Angie. Huh. All right, got it, case close. We're good. We're good. Matter of time, please. I believe that while Keel was setting up the seesaw, he was holding the board. 
when Angie walked in. And he cold cocked her with a floorboard. Oh, there we go. We got that art. All you can do now is accept it. You even confessed to Tenko's murder already. Well, it's true. This is the truth. Uh, Looks like we're almost at the end. All right, Shuichi. I'll leave the finale to you. Bring down the house. Shuichi, please put an end to this. I will for you. For Angie and Tenko's sake. End this class trial. I understand. I'll go over everything one more time. <laughs> Kyo, I want you to confess. I, I don't want to go no, through everything over again. Force you to confess. Thing, uh, all right, fine. I'll do it. I have to. I don't have a choice. All right. Now we just let it play, guys. Let's look back at the first murder. It was late last night. The culprit was in the empty room on the fourth floor. The culprit was preparing the seance murder they had planned. To use the floorboard as a seesaw, they had to cut the cross piece supporting it. The plan was to make the same preparations for all three empty rooms. This would divert suspicion away from the culprit and whoever picked a room. To cut the cross pieces, now he really got at that. Saw. I imagine they got one from the warehouse. They were planning to cut the cross pieces in all three rooms. <laughs> She's like so happy. Of course, a tour. However, when the culprit was working on the middle room, the unexpected happened. Wrong place, wrong time. It's a classic case. Angie walked into that room and saw the culprit making their preparations. You think they would have like tried to lock the door somehow? Huh? She needed some fire for the ritual and had gone to the room for a candle. At that point, the culprit had not finished the setup and was just cutting cross pieces. Angie might not have concluded that it was tied to some kind of murder plan, but now that Angie had seen it, the culprit couldn't use the seesaw trick. Any other person might have just given up, but not our culprit. The culprit took the floorboard they loosened and struck the unsuspecting Angie in the head. The culprit did not want to give up on their plan and had to improvise. They wrapped duct tape around Angie's injury to stop the bleeding. Then they picked up her unconscious body and carried her to a research lab. And someone could have saw them there too. That's the thing. You, you can always get caught somehow, some way. And it finally happened. He just got caught. While she was unconscious, the culprit hurried to tie up this loose end. I'm sorry, Angie. I do feel a little bad now. <laughs> I feel a little. I feel a little bad. But because they were in a hurry, they made a crucial oversight. They didn't notice the duct tape had peeled off and was under Angie's body. Without that evidence, we may never have figured out the culprit's trick. So what if there was like the perfect murder where no one left the any clues, to the you know? Art lab. Is it possible? Is that ever gonna happen? Monokuma would just have to say who it is. Lock the front door from inside. and took out the katana they brought from their own lab. And like a ninja. They Ooh. then stabbed Angie in the back of the neck, finally killing her. Then, to further confuse us, the culprit yeah, this was the weird part about it. Mystery. First, they used rope from the warehouse and hung four effigies upside down. There were two reasons for this, to overwhelm the room with an occult atmosphere, and the other was the key to locking the room. The culprit stuck the katana into Kaede's effigy near the rear entrance. It's like, yeah, I don't know, I'll just, I'll just hang all these bodies up here. Like, who thinks of that? And spun the effigy around to twist up the rope.
After enough turns, the culprit let go and headed for the rear door. And she started twirling. <laughs> the visual, the visual. Once released, the effigy began spinning and the gold leaf katana with it. The handle of the katana then hit the sliding lock, locking the door. And what kind of measurements, you know, he had to do? trick, but remember that the lock was so loose it moved at the slightest touch. The culprit also would have had the opportunity to attempt it many times. If for some reason Monokuma takes care of locks? Once complete, the door was locked, but the duct tape was left behind. Perhaps the culprit noticed it, but by that point, it was too late. The room was sealed. There was no way for them to get back inside. Then, this morning, we opened up the room and discovered Angie's body. So, yeah, Angie's body was never supposed to be found. But the culprit But thank God, finished. Kokichi he actually knew how to pick locks. Murder. Of course he would. To do that, they manipulated us into performing this seance. Of the three empty rooms, the middle one was chosen for the seance. I was invited by Kokichi to take Kibo's place in the seance. Tenko volunteered to be the medium, but she never imagined it would get her killed. To perform the seance, the culprit claimed they needed something for Tenko. A small stone that Himiko had brought from the courtyard. But it Tenko, don't make sense still, like why? Why did he kill her? That or kill anyone? Instrumental why did he have to kill a second sure person? The murder went as planned. Maybe if they would have never found the first body. Next, Kokichi uh, and I placed there would have been no class trial. Over Tenko, right. In the middle of the magic circle. Maybe the culprit then maybe volunteered to drape the white cloth over the iron cage. They needed to set up the murder weapon that was used to kill Tenko. While they were covering the cage with a cloth, they secretly placed the sickle. Sorry, I had a call. <laughs> Finally. Four of us placed the wooden statue on top of the cage. The culprit used the weight of the statue to keep the murder weapon in place. After the preparations were complete, we began the seance. In complete darkness, we each stood in one corner and sang the Cage Child song. When the song finished, the soul of the dead was supposed to enter the medium, but our culprit had another plan, to commit a murder in the darkness. Right after we started singing, the culprit began making their way toward Tenko. It would have been quite difficult to do in total darkness, but our culprit had a guide. They used the lines of the magic circle drawn with salt. The culprit felt for the salt and used it to guide them along. And when the culprit reached the center of the circle, They found the floorboard that had its cross piece cut off. The yeah, night so I want to know what they did. Did they just jump? Then lifted up their foot and stomped down hard on the floorboard. That, well, yeah. The floorboard lifted up like a seesaw and pushed Tenko's body up toward the ceiling of the cage. That'd be so painful. Tenko was stabbed in the back. I hope it was of instant. <laughs> well, was it's supposed to be right. For yeah. eyes, and we didn't even see it. After committing the crime, the culprit followed the salt back to their corner, finished the ritual, and had us light the candles. We followed the culprit's direction. It's so smart. Why did he have to kill the them both? <laughs> and discovered. 
discover Tenko's body. That, yeah, how did he get away with that? focused on the body, the culprit picked up the sickle and dropped it under the floor through the hole in the corner of the room. Ironically, the final step of the murder was unwittingly carried out by us. The culprit had planned the murder so that we would unintentionally destroy some evidence. That evidence was the magic circle that the culprit but used to came in the dark. for the win. I like Kibo. However, the culprit didn't know that Kibo had taken a picture. He really saved us. Without that, we wouldn't know what changes were made to the they circle. They were in his grasp. But now we know for certain, and we know the culprit drew the magic circle. All right, we finally got the picture. There it is. Kurekyo Shinguji, the ultimate anthropologist. Kurekyo? You're the culprit behind these murders. They always say the name different. All right, let's go, let's let's get this let's get this going. Let's get his backstory and then let's get this going. I'm sorry, but that's where my detective work leads us. It all fits. <laughs> Sweet Correcchio, there are times when it's necessary to admit defeat. Uh, admit? Yeah. Okay. So you finally admit you did it. Unfortunately. Yes. Yes. It's unfortunate. We'll still say why. My one regret. My only regret. Was not being able to make 100 friends. What? 100 friends? <laughs> Trying to have a battle royale? It was my dream to make 100 friends. Oh, it's so unfortunate. I was so close to 100. But you like took two of them out, so. What are you talking about? Who gives a fuck? Let's vote for this kooky bastard and be done with this already. Roger that. One voting time. Coming up. The heart racing excitement as the heart racing ex has a black end in the spotless fight. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It's voting. Yeah, let me press it. Let me press it. You know what? You guys can clap because I feel like I did really good this trial. All right, I may have been bad, but I this one was pretty obvious. I feel like it just made sense. So I'm gonna say, uh, good job. I'm pat myself on the back. Now I'll vote. It's always good to pat yourself on the back every now and then. Now then, it seems the voting has. I want to see it. I want to see it. How will he die? Um. Yeah, I don't know. He'll probably be squashed by a statue or something. Something, something like that. He didn't vote. He voted for himself. Okay. I thought it was interesting that someone, like the last time, someone else voted for like a random person. Will be chosen as the blackened. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? All rise, guys. Take a stretch. All right, maybe it's maybe it's a good bathroom break time. Uh, and uh, I'll be nice. No, I haven't heard his answer yet. So basically, yeah, I want to hear it too. Why did you do it? Why did what? you do both? Did your motive have something to do with the transfer student who was resurrected? Even if it did, though, why did that trigger a murder? Hey! Don't tell me, were you actually scared of the resurrection, uh, r ritual? Shut up! I never said I was scared. The resur the resurrection ritual had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do Bye. with it. Because we're friends, I'll tell you, I never once believed in the ritual. I would never kill someone over something as silly what? as that. So it has nothing to do with the motive? Mm -hmm. Then why? Yes. For the one that I love. There is someone that I love. What? From the bottom of my heart, someone so dear, someone I long for. I love her with all my heart. And she loves me with all her heart. Um. Okay. Okay, well they showed like an interesting picture. Uh, it's kind of artsy, I, I would say. Yes. Uh. We vowed in endless love to each other. Forever bound by faith. Okay. None can come between us. We are bound by an intense I'm just gonna, love. I'm just not gonna show it because like, I, I don't know. It'll probably no get, I, I don't know. Anyone says. It's not like, I don't know, to me it's it's not bad, but you never know. So, is he acting like that person or like what? So that's why you killed Angie Tinko? What, why did you need to kill both? 
If you asked, I did it to escape this place. My answer would be no. Wonderful. Because I have no need to escape this place. The one I love is inside. Wait. Don't look at me. I'm not his lover. Yeah. Calm down. No one would want to, would want a disgusting crap stuff be more like you anyway. Explosion. What the what? <laughs> Who's the person you love? Is it really one of us? When I say inside, I do mean inside this academy. Or do not mean. I mean inside of me. Sister. I'm the one that I, I, I love me, my dearest sister. What in the what? Huh? What in the banjo? Wait! I'm not a sister. Right? A uh, duh. If you were a sister, he would have. Baba boy. Ready. Your sister, but did you say she was your what lover? Is, the matter? is it not difficult? My sister is my lover. Yep. Yep. Banjo time. Banjo time. I loved her so deeply, and she loved me so deeply. Why does it say in the top corner, no physical connection? What the heck? I'm sorry, guys, but your boy is not getting demonetized today for, uh, for anything. The fact that we were siblings meant nothing to us. That's a problem. That's a huge issue. That's a big problem. They called it forbidden love, <laughs> but none could stop the This is insane. Oh. How I long for my sister's warmth. It's a little sus, my guy. A little sus. The only time I felt at peace was when I was enveloped in my sister's warmth. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I had to kill for her. Huh? Why? Sister. Sister was very sickly. She was always in and out of the hospital ever since she was a child. Because of that, she didn't have many friends. She always seemed so lonely. However. Even if I could be her little brother and her lover, I couldn't be her friend. Ugh. It's like, I don't, it's almost sad, but it's like when he says that, I don't feel bad. <laughs> my sister's now a ghost, so her friends should be ghosts too, right? For my beloved sister. Say, I've killed many to send her 100 friends. That's what it, oh, that's what he meant by that? Get, get, get this guy out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awful. Yes, Kori Kiyo, I'm very happy thanks to you. I'm not lonely. What? Could it be that the lipstick version of Kiyo is? I'm Kore Kiyo's older I'm, sister. Yeah, that, yeah, okay. What? Yes. I lost my beloved sister. I was so distraught. I nearly went mad. My sister came to save me. I am pleased. She visited me during one of my seances and stayed inside sister. of me. Now I can see her whenever I want. Correcchio. Are you serious? Yikes. Yikes. No sympathy for me, man. Oh, okay. Sorry. I accidentally skipped it, but like, because, you know, whatever. He only killed girls. You just mentioned that. So uh, I see. So we were deciding on who should be a medium. It had to have been a girl. Before that, let's choose a spiritual world. It would be best with the girl. Ah, okay. And besides, Maki and Miyu, they were all worthy. Oh, so Maki was one of the candidates. Well, thank God, because I love Maki. Uh, all worthy of being sister's yeah. friends. All worthy. Why you? Hey, how come I'm not included? <laughs> uh, so the second victim could have been me? Uh, Tenko died in place of me? Dang. Yeah, she almost did it. That's crazy. That's some good luck, though. All right. We're, we're cutting to his murder right now. Oh, okay. So he, she did. He did just kill her just because. That was it. Because she wanted. He wanted to get to 100 friends. That was it. It's punishment time. Woo! Let's do this. Let's freaking go. Sister. <laughs> Please, sorry. That's right. From now on, oh, from now on, no one will try to stop us. We could be together without having to hide from our love from others. What? I can't accept this! Therefore, like I said, there's no such thing as death that can be accepted. An anthropological Why do you think so many different cultures have funeral rites? What do you think rumors of ways to resurrect the dead ever cease? Yes. The living must find a reason, however forced to accept death what it, that it happens. Everyone, everyone say bye-bye. I not gotta see him Humanity. anymore. I can't believe that. What the heck, man? Freaking crazy. This game, man. Oh, Samurais. Cultural melting pot. He spin Kaede, now he gets spun. Oh, melting pot. Ah, cuz he's gonna okay. He's literally getting boiled? Wow. Is he gonna sit No! No! <laughs> no, not him! Why did he just run into the fire? <laughs> he literally for no reason ran into the fire. There he goes.
Now he gets to see his sister. Oh no. Oh, salt! Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> what the heck? Oh, right, YouTube, that's not- that's not nudity. That's not nudity. It's ghosts. It's just ghosts. Don't you freaking be- please, please be nice to me, please. Cause I, I don't know how YouTube is. They'll try to say it is, and it's not. It's like- it's stupid. There's nothing there. It's ghost. If I'd have known this would have happened, I would have been nicer to him. The only reason Mata Dan obsessed over getting along was because everyone uh, but me bullied him. So yeah, he did just run into the fire. Okay. Who's Mata Dan? You already forgot? <laughs> it looks like another class trial is wrapped up without incident. So I'm gonna take back this. No, 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 no. Keep it. I want to keep it. Seems like a waste. So you guys sure don't want to use it. You guys should have brought someone back to life and added them to your roster. Shut up, how long are you no. gonna keep talking about that? The whole resurrection ritual is obviously a lie. He's trying to shake up, a, uh, shake us up mentally to get What's us to panic. Point? I'm assuming you'll think of another murder will happen if you do that, right? <laughs> Who can say? Hmm. What a waste. If none of you were gonna use it, you should have let me have it. Then I could have resurrected, resurrected one of my dead siblings. Um, Which what? one? I don't know, they're all pretty terrible, actually. Hmm. Wait, did one of us die? I could have sworn it was just the two of us the whole time. Oh, yeah. It's too bad you missed your chance to raise the dead. That's what you get for doubting me. <laughs> Too bad. Well, now he still talks about raising the dead. Always messing around. All right. Well, that was interesting to say the least, guys. Uh, yeah. I'll let you know if anything else important happens. <laughs> this has been long. It's been a long episode. Hey, I'm just glad I wasn't going to. That's all. That's all I could say. Him and Maki, and you know. Oh my God. Starts with a K. Can't think of his name. I just want them to survive. That's what I want. Hey, now she's finally started to put some effort in. Okay. She's she's really getting like you know becoming normal sort of. I won't run away anymore. I want to survive and escape everyone with everyone. Maki. <laughs> I wonder how long that'll last. I wonder if your true calling is a killer shows. Huh. Don't underestimate her. Maki rolls one of my sidekicks. Kaito. Love you, Kaito. I know. It's not hard to believe. I couldn't remember his name, but... Okay, and Kokichi. All right. Himiko, you okay? Anything Gonta could do? You can tell Gonta. Hey. I think we should leave her some space. Yeah, she needs time. Himiko is such a liar. Huh? What? Because I'm a liar. Personally, I don't think lies are exactly a bad thing. Let's face it. You wouldn't have had any free will if the world was compromised with just the truth. But... But even though, I don't think it's a good lie to lie to yourself, you know? Right? What are you saying? What do you think about Himiko's feelings? Nah. I only said this because I thought about because? it. Himiko has been lying to herself about her own feelings, so she's been holding back. Hey! What are you repressing? What are you trying so hard to hold back? Yeah, she was. It didn't explain, like, why she was down before, you know? Get some character development here. Tanko, Angie, I'm so lonely without you. Oh, that's sad. But I gotta survive. I still can't go to where you are. But I'm lonely. I'm so lonely without both of you. Himiko. Damn it. Oh, no, no. They're not gonna make me cry again. She cried as if she was releasing all the emotions she had bottled up inside. Yep, tragedy always brings out uh, people's real feelings, right? Aww. The tears we shed, like, ah, oh, dude, this is sad. What the heck? It's crazy. But at the very, at the very least, they weren't tears of submission. They were tears to push us forward. We must move forward, my scrubs. After a while, Himiko finally calmed down. However, however, but ah, oh, that's what a great way to end. Daughter? No, she fought. She's sleeping very Go to your never never die, please. She's all tuckered out after crying. Robots sleep well after leaking their oils too, right? I have told you many times that I do not use oil as my fuel source. But wow, that really surprised me. She passed out as soon as she stopped crying. Yeah. That's a wholesome man. So peaceful sleeping like that. She probably felt better after letting it all out, don't you think? Yeah, I hope so. Then go to carry Himiko to her room. <laughs> Make sure you focus real good on your back, you hear me? You'll need that focus if you want to feel her little mess. Nope. There's no Cut way her off. do such a thing. Nope. <laughs> Not even gonna let her see it. While we were heading back to the dorms, I suddenly noticed Kaito had stopped in his tracks. Kaito, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. Oh, nothing. I just wanted to get some night air. Oh, he's, huh? he's, he's about to get some revenge. Well... Anyway, don't do something like this again, okay? If you just like, if you just like scary things, then you should have said so earlier. I thought you were sick. <laughs> you worried about me? <sighs> worried about your stupidity. <laughs> Burn. Still haven't warmed up to me, huh? 
Maybe not, but I feel like the walls we uh, had are coming down a little, you know? Perhaps those walls were her enemies. Seems like she doesn't want to wait anymore. Yeah, cuz of Miggy! Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe because you sound like you're bragging, Kaito. Ah. But like I said, I'm gonna get some air before I go back. You go on ahead. Okay. Got it. See you tomorrow. Got it. See you tomorrow. I'm gonna guess he's gonna stare into the sky because of space. After all our goodbyes, I returned to my dorm room. I didn't notice what was going on with Kaito. <laughs> oh, he really is sick. What? We're gonna get our first yeah. sickness death in Dying Rampa? What? I don't no, not Kaito. Dying. I still haven't gone into space yet. Well, you know, I did predict the sky, but I, I thought he was gonna be looking at it or something, and then something would happen, but not this. I didn't really think Damn he was actually it. sick. No way am I gonna die here. No, he was so cool. Kaito was so nice, no though. Way. He's the bro. You can't kill the bro. There it is, guys. Chapter three is finally over. I better freaking stop my recording before like something happens. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much. Uh, smash like. Thank you for supporting me for this long. Chapter three, there's probably what? Gonna be five, six chapters, so crap, man. I don't know. I actually don't know how many chapters there are, but we are getting that much closer to the end of the game, and this has been a great one. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Scrub, scribe. Uh, you can be scrub of the day, uh, but yeah, smash like. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.